Hello, back again today. Uh, still Sunday the 22nd of November. I'm trying to get a few more videos up here for you guys. This restaurant that I've been working on, uh, I'm changing out all three of the panels that are in it. Uh, you saw the blown out uh, fourplex, all the shit in the attic so far that I've been working on. What I haven't shown you yet is the, the whole exterior of the services that's going to, the new service that's going to be put in. But this is one of three panels here, which is my panel B. All this stuff was put in in the 70s, and it's all been uh, rewired and, and jury rigged together over the years. But basically, in this picture here, I um, just wanted to show you, I cut out the, the opening for the new panel and everything. I'm getting it ready to change out. Uh, the restaurant is open six days a week. It's closed on one of the days, and it's my opportunity to get in there and uh, shut the whole system down and, and change the panels out so that the restaurant can stay up and open, uh, running. But anyway, um, okay, it's just another side view of what it did. I had to do a little bit of rewiring here for these switches and add an outlet down here for the time clock. Uh, all this was all just kind of just jammed into one corner back up in here and had to do a couple potholes here for um, running some MCs through. As you can tell on this one here you've got uh, a, a self-made two-pole breaker that goes and feeds the ice machine there and then we've got some doubled up wires on here uh, which I found out yesterday after doing something else uh, that we've got uh, exhaust fans and makeup airs under the same breaker. Um, there's just all kinds of crap, different size breakers in here, and I mean it's it's burn up lugs. I think I had done a video before of, of this the um, I'm sorry burned up uh, bus bars in there. This breaker here. Um, same thing it's just all fried on the inside of it so it was it was time for this panel to be replaced now these feeders are all going to get replaced as well and they're going to go back into the new service and I'll be uh, doing videos on that as I go okay just another picture of all the, the crap that's been added in there over the years okay seems like I got a lot of those sorry about that guys Okay, so I ripped the old one out, and um, you know pipes come falling out of the ceiling, and um, these seem to be pretty sturdy here. The J boxes are actually another video that I had done that are straight up above, up in the attic. Um, the The biggest thing about this panel is that none of these neutrals um, are separated as far as uh, shared neutrals and circuits. Um, they weren't, I should say. I've gone through and straightened out all the circuitry so that your A and your B phase sharing a neutral are all correctly re um, rephased in there. So your, your your A phase and the B phase sharing one neutral rather than having a bunch of A phases all on uh, one neutral and a bunch of B phases. Um, so there's the new panel, and um, before anybody makes any comments about my splices up here, remember I'm repulling all new feeders in here once I put a new service in. So for right now, um, you know, the electrical engineer, the electrical inspector, um, both gave me their blessing on doing this as a temporary uh, setup until we can get the new service put in. Um, so that's basically it. That took me a few hours. Um, to go ahead and get all that cut out and um, reinstall. I mean, I relocated all these wires up in the attic and, and separated from, from their neutrals. Just a, another side view of it there. But uh, once again, one of three panels that I'm changing out. And uh, I'll keep, some, keep going on some more of these pictures here. Uh, talk to you later. Have a good one.